How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobel Tech and today I'm going to show you how to easily check any iPhone activation date. And by activation date, I do mean the first time an iPhone is opened up, turned on and set up for the first time. And trust me, this works for any iPhone. That's why I have here a brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max, but I also have here a five year old iPhone 8 and it works on older iPhones as well even if the warranty has expired. So you can pick an iPhone 3GS, for example, and it'll pinpoint the exact date it was activated, it was set up for the first time. This is absolutely incredible and it's super easy. Let me show you. All you have to do is open up Safari and then go to this website, iunlocker.com. Of course, I'll have a direct link in the description down below and also on the screen. So go to ionlocker.com, that's the website. And then all you have to do is tap on this little menu button right here at the top right hand corner and then tap on check IMEI, all right? Check IMEI, tap there. And then as you can see here, all the website asks for is your serial number or as it's also called, the IMEI. Super easy. So all you have to do is open up your settings and then you're going to go to, you can scroll down a bit and tap on general, about, and as you can see here, that's your serial number. It lives right here on the iPhone. And it's super easy because you don't have to memorize or write it down or anything. You can simply tap and hold and then copy. So as easy as that, you can copy your serial number. So then you can come back to Safari, to Ion Locker, tap there, and then paste it. And if you're a little bit concerned about giving away your serial number, you shouldn't. There's no harm here. No one can do anything to your iPhone or your data or your Apple ID with your serial number. If there was a problem, I wouldn't be giving away my own serial number, right? So all you have to do now is tap on check, let it load. Sometimes it may take a few seconds for it to load. So be patient, but it shouldn't take too long, just like 10, 15 seconds max. And as you can see, there we have it. If for some reason it doesn't work on the first go for you, you can just paste it once again and check once again. You can retry and then it'll work, all right? So as you can see here, that's my information iPhone 13 Pro Max, as you can see, Sierra Blue, 256, and that's 100% correct, as you saw before. And then it'll show you also the warranty status. It's still active, my warranty, but the exact information that we want is right here. Estimated purchase date. That's the activation date. The website calls it estimate purchase date because is when it thinks it was purchased, therefore activated, so that's exactly what it is. The activation date is October the 22nd, 2021. And that's exactly perfect to the day correct. That's exactly when I first activated this iPhone, when I opened it up, turned it on, and set it up for the first time. So that's the information you should look for. And it also gives you a ton of extra information, like I mentioned, regarding warranty and everything like that, which is super useful. Now, let me quickly show you that it also works on iPhones that don't have an active warranty anymore, because you may think this will only work for iPhones with an active warranty, but that's not true. It'll work on any iPhone. So as you can see here, I already have Ion Locker opened up. So let me just go ahead, open up my settings, scroll down, go to general, about, and then copy my serial number by tapping and holding, as I mentioned, copy, and then let me come back to Safari, tap here where it says serial. So I'm just doing the exact same process once again, tap on paste, and then check. And then it'll start loading, and it'll give us the information in a few seconds. So let's just wait. As I said, it may take 10 to 15 seconds. There we have it. Perfect. So if we scroll down, here we have it. iPhone 8, 64 gigs, space gray, as you guys can see, perfect. Out of warranty. So as you can see, no warranty. It's expired a few years ago. And as you guys can see here, the estimated purchase date, so the activation date, is November the 26th, 2019. And that's right that's exactly when this iPhone was purchased. 
What I said in the intro about a five-year-old iPhone is just because this iPhone was launched, it was released five years ago, but this specific unit was bought in 2019, as you guys can see right here. And as I also mentioned, you can even try this on an iPhone 2G, 3G, 3GS, whatever. It'll always give you the perfect purchase date, therefore the activation date of the iPhone. So that's it. That's literally it. So if you enjoyed the video, if you enjoyed learning how to easily check any iPhone activation date, and this is super useful if you wanna buy a new iPhone, if you wanna buy something out of eBay or from a friend, you can easily check exactly how old the iPhone really is. So that's it, and I'll see you in a few days as usual. Bye-bye.